Einhorn is Finkel. Finkel is Einhorn. Welcome to On the Subject. Make sure to like this video, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you get notified every time a new video gets uploaded. Ace Ventura Pet Detective is a movie that my family, particularly my big brother, absolutely love to watch, quote, reenact, you name it. Me who? Yeah, her. It is definitely one of the first movies that comes to my mind when I think of Jim Carrey. It's by no means a cinematic masterpiece, but it's a classic Jim Carrey slapstick cult classic comedy from the 90s. Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, was released February 4th, 1994. It stars Jim Carrey, Courtney Cox, Sean Young, Tone Lope, and Dan Marino. The Rotten Tomatoes critic score is 47%, while the audience score is 57%. Now this is the synopsis from Rotten Tomatoes. When the dolphin mascot of Miami's NFL team is abducted, Ace Ventura, Jim Carrey, a zany private investigator who specializes in finding missing animals, looks into the case. Soon Miami Dolphins players are kidnapped too, including star player Dan Marino, starring Dan Marino, making Ace's sleuth work even more pressing. Working with Dolphins representative Melissa Robinson, Courtney Cox, Ace closes in on the culprits, but not before many ridiculous misadventures. Amongst the many ridiculous misadventures are a couple of characters not mentioned in the synopsis, which are Lieutenant Lois Einhorn and former Dolphins player Ray Finkel. Lois is this highly sexually charged lieutenant of the Miami Police Department who could have had a number of sexual harassment and assault charges against her, but maybe I was wrong about you. Maybe you are more than just a pet dick. Alas, it's a movie, and it is part of the whole underlying joke. I'm not going to give the entire plot of the movie, but warning, spoiler alerts. And if you've never seen it, I highly recommend watching it and then just come back here. If you're still here, it's because you've seen the movie and welcome. As we know in the movie, Ace finds an amber stone in Snowflake's tank, which he then theorizes to be from a 1984 AFC championship ring, which leads him to believe a player from the 1984 Dolphins team is the culprit. This leads him down a rabbit hole of going down the entire team roster. Then, while investigating and proving the murder of Dolphins' head of operations, only this. It leads him to Ray Finkel. Ray is a disgraced former Dolphins place kicker who missed the potentially game-winning kick because... Laces out, Dan! <laughs> Laces out. In the 1984 Super Bowl and blamed quarterback Dan Marino for it. Then had this insane homicidal vendetta against him which put him in this mental institution where Ace goes undercover as a mental patient because he believes Ray is out for revenge. This is where he discovers that Lois Einhorn is in fact Ray Finkel. The reveal scene comes when Ace tears off his clothes. Yes, his clothes, because the character is meant to be a man disguised as a woman that infiltrated the police department for revenge, not a transgender. She's not Lois Einhorn. She's Ray Finkel. She's a man. And the audience meets Mr. Winky. He found Captain Winky! Confirming the pet detective's theory that the disgraced kicker, Finkel, is in fact the insatiable Einhorn. And that's the joke. The idea that this beautiful woman has been packing tackle the whole time is bizarre and it's gross. The reason it worked back then is because that was obvious. Whereas now we're told not only is it totally normal, it's brave and beautiful. And by the way, if you're not interested in making out with a Finkel as Einhorn, you're a transphobe. Instead of amused sympathy for all the men that he kissed and got around with, all the men that are around <laughs> are gagging and throwing up and scratching their tongues. And today's audience would be asked to condemn Einhorn slash Finkel's hapless victims as bigots. 
This movie would get canceled so fast if it were made today. It wouldn't even make it past the pitch meeting before someone claimed transphobia. I mean, it must be so exhausting trying not to laugh or be entertained by something because you're constantly waiting for something to offend you. The cancel mob is limiting creativity in the entertainment sphere, especially in comedy because the expectation that everyone should just cater to each other's personal needs is ridiculous. That's not how this works. And that's not how life works. I was listening to Lauren Chen's podcast where Mr. H Reviews was the guest and he said, when did we become such a weak society that someone says a naughty word and someone says, ooh, you offended me, grow up. People are so entitled that they feel like they have a right to walk through life and not be offended by anything. But sorry, you're choosing to take offense to things. You chose that. I can't choose to offense. I can't demand you're going to take offense. I thought that was a great take. Ray Finkel was an undercover vigilante man disguised as a woman who stole the identity, not gender identity, actual identity of deceased Lois Einhorn to get revenge on Dan Marino, which is the whole joke of the movie. Your gun is digging into my hip. Ace Ventura is a comedy, a fictional story meant to make people laugh. If it doesn't make you laugh or other movies from the past for that matter, then turn it off. I can definitely see someone in today's modern society scolding someone for laughing at a movie like this, but comedy is subjective just like music. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean I don't have to like it. Exercise the demons. I will continue to laugh and be entertained by this movie because it's funny. What are your thoughts? What other movies could you see getting immediately canceled today from the past? Comment below and share all your thoughts. I will see you on the next one, guys. Thanks for being here.